What's up, my name is Technoba here for Troubleshoot and in today's quick video, I'm going to show you how you can force a game, program or anything like that to use a dedicated graphics card in your PC or laptop if you have more than one, i.e. an integrated graphics chip and a dedicated one. Usually you can tell you have a dedicated graphics card if your laptop or device has an NVIDIA or AMD sticker on it talking about graphics. And in the second half of the video, I'll be running through some solutions if you're unable to do this. So first of all, press start and type in graphics. Then click on graphics settings. Then you should see something like this window over here. Yours will probably have universal app selected or classic app. In here is a list of all programs that we can choose to force them to use either the power saving GPU, which is our integrated graphics card, the one attached to your CPU, or the high performance graphics card, i.e. your dedicated graphics card, NVIDIA or AMD. So to force a game to use your dedicated graphics card, simply click the drop down and select classic app, then click browse and navigate to where the program is installed. I'm inside of the Counter-Strike Global Offensive folder. I'll simply double click on csgo.exe and as you can see, it's added to the list. By default, every program is system default. If I click on it and then click options, we get the option to pick system default, power saving or high performance. By default, the system default over here is the power saving graphics card, i.e. your integrated one and not your high performance dedicated graphics card. Clicking on high performance and clicking save will then tell the program to use our dedicated graphics card the next time that we launch it. Of course, if you're trying to do this with an app from the Windows App Store, make sure to select the Universal App section and then select an app from the list over here. Once you've done that, do the same with clicking options and picking a graphics processor. With all of that aside, the next time you open up the game, you should be able to play the game with much better performance. Assuming that for some reason you aren't able to play with a better performance and you're using a laptop, make sure that the power connection is plugged in and your PC actually has power from the wall socket. Otherwise, if you're using a laptop and it is plugged in or you're having some other kind of issue, we can go ahead and check the performance settings. Press start and then type in power. Then we'll head into power and sleep settings and we'll click on additional power settings on the right hand side. Then we'll see this window over here. Yours will probably have balanced or power saving selected. If you see a high performance or maximum performance option below it, make sure to click one of those. After doing that, you should see a massive performance increase in your PC. Though with that, you'll also see a much larger power draw, especially if you're using it on battery. On a lot of computers, you're able to pick which one it will use when plugged in or on battery. One of the things that we can do for extra performance is enable the ultimate performance plan. How do we do this? Well, check the description down below for a command. We'll be putting this command in the administrative PowerShell window. Of course, you will need admin permissions on your PC to do this. So we'll start by hitting Start and X to bring up this pop-up over here. Then we'll be clicking Windows PowerShell brackets admin. If you don't see this, press Start and type in PowerShell. Then we'll right click on Windows PowerShell and click Run as admin or click it over here. After doing that and clicking yes, we'll see a window like this. Simply paste the command from the description down below as such and hit enter. Upon doing this, we can close out of the PowerShell window and close out of our power options menu. Then we'll open up power options once again and head into additional power settings. This time you should see show additional plans and clicking the drop down, we have ultimate performance. Clicking this radio button over here now enables the ultimate performance setting on our PC and provides ultimate performance on higher end PCs. This of course will mean that if we have got a dedicated graphics card, it will be using it as often as possible. Though if you do unplug from the power source, your PC may drop into a different power plan and you may have to select this again. With that aside, the next time you launch up a game or application, things should be working a lot better. Anyways, that's about it for this video. Hopefully you found it somewhat useful. My name's been Technobo here for Troubleshoot and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.